Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is your girl Dee. Um, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be making or showing you guys how I made my um, QR code scanner on this. Um, I had a lot of people, well, I actually was asking a lot of questions on how to do it and nobody was really, you know, trying to help. So I just ended up getting up and I said, you know what, I'll figure it out on my own. So I went ahead and um, I figured it out on my own and a lot of people was asking questions on how I do this and I did let you guys know I would definitely do a video on how I made this so I did I do actually have an order um that's in that I'm going to be actually doing I want to show you guys how you can get the QR code I use two different websites as you can see the first one that I'm using is goqr.m I will leave that at the bottom of the screen once you go on here it is self-explanatory so for one to type i'm using my website so the website address is www.flawlessbosscollection.com and here is my code i just simply go in and download that and then it downloads to my computer and then i can just upload the image on my cricut design space for the qr code generator same exact thing url which you put right here which is my www.flawlessbosscollection.com and then here is the QR code and you just download it as a JPG file upload it as well on your Cricut design space and then you'll be able to do the printing cut whichever one works some people do the printing cut some people actually do the cut and have the Cricut design actually cuts that out I feel like that's a little bit too much um, and I don't want to lose any of the pieces to where it messes up the scan it may not but for me I do do printing cut but these are the two websites that I do use this is the most common one that I use which is again G O R dot me and then you just simply just you just download it and then you have it for that for cash app Venmo PayPal you don't have to come on here because they have their own QR code, which you just simply go on that. If you have the app, you just go on the Cash App app, and then you can pull that up and just send it um, to yourself by email or just upload it in your Cricut Design Space, whichever one works for you. And, you know, then you have it. Um, the way that people can use this on the acrylic plaque is basically they just upload it. Um, again, on their gonna show you my just upload it on here sorry for the mess in the background and they just literally just put their camera over my code so this is my website it will take you directly to my website with no issues my cash app it will take you right to my cash app if you want to like pay something but usually I have everybody come to my website that I have everything going but this is exactly how they will do it they would just pull out their phone with their camera put it right up and then it's gonna pop up at the top and you just click and it's gonna take you right to the site so I hope that helps you out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you actually make the acrylic tile. Keep watching. I wanted to go ahead and record. Um, so right now, basically what I'm doing is just going to my email and I'm gonna be saving the QR codes that she sent me. So I basically just save those and just download it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Okay, so I have both of her um, QR codes that she want to use. She want to do Cash App and she also wants to do PayPal. So once I get done saving that, um, I'm going to actually go to Cricut Design Space. Um, let me get out of this one. I do apologize. Let me get out of here. Um, so basically you want to do a print and cut. Um, some people do a cut and they use the machine the Cricut machine to do that. I don't do it that way. I feel like it takes a little bit way too long. So this is what works for me. Um, it was a lot of trial and error. I'm still, you know, learning from it because that was my first one that I did. But I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I made it. So we're gonna go right here to upload. And gonna click upload image. Basically browse and once you find the image, so once you have the image, then you just go in and you choose simple, complex. For this one, I'm gonna choose the simple, and then it's gonna show up 
as a huge thing. You can just go right here and you can just zoom out so you can actually see it. Um, I'm going to click the background because I want everything to be just like this. Press continue. I'm going to do the print and cut. And now you see it popped up right there. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to basically upload her other image. Mm -hmm. right so then there's her cash app. We're going to do the print and cut. And the paper that I use um, is actually the printable vinyl paper, which is. which is this and you can get it from Michaels um, you can basically just google it and it should come up sometimes Walmart has it um, but I've been getting mine from Michael but I make sure I get the printable vinyl paper so I can put it into the machine I haven't used any other paper um, again like I said this is my first time I mean my second time doing this This is the this is the glass that I'm gonna be doing it on, um, and I will leave everything below where you can find stuff. You can find it. Actually, you can just use a picture frame um, if you want to just use the glass. This actually came like this that I got from Dollar Tree, Walmart. Um, you know, you can even go on Amazon and you know get the fancier ones. I'll probably go to those eventually, but for right now. Um, I'm still kind of learning the uh, QR codes both up. Um, with this one, I am going to fix this one. So I see how it's saying it's too big. With this one, I actually, I'm going to delete this one actually. Like I said, it's trial and error. I'm going to go back and I'm going to actually re-upload this image. And the reason why is because I don't want her name or anything right there of how it is. I'm gonna go back and instead of doing simple I'm gonna do complex zoom out a little bit so I can see click the background and then I'm gonna go right here to crop and I'm basically gonna just get this and it's gonna be just like that let me fix it so it can be both in there. just like that Let's continue. Again, we're doing print and cut. And hopefully this video doesn't take long, but I want to, you know, go step by step with you guys because I did let you guys know I would, you know, do that for you guys. So I'm just going to go here and delete this one. Okay, so we're going to re-upload the PayPal. Okay. I should have blocked the PayPal out, but that's okay. So then I'm going to go right here because you see how Cash App already has that one. And if you look right here, that one printed out just right. That one, when I did for my website, it did not. Um, Cricut, was, the machine was trying to do all the like the little, you know, little black things. And I definitely did not want that. So I'm going to click the PayPal. I'm going to go right here to offset. And I'm going to kind of try to create if it doesn't well i probably won't have to do this one for this but let me okay no this one isn't gonna let me do it for this one but i'm gonna go ahead and print it and i'm gonna see because this is my first time actually doing the paypal one so i'm gonna basically just put it to the size that i want and i'm gonna try to put them like that i don't want them too big but i definitely want it the same size so that one's 3.153. So I'm going to try to put that one the same exact size. Okay. So I'm going to put them like that. I'm going to go over here and click make it. Now with the vinyl, you have to put this um, in your printer first. So I'm going to go ahead and go do that. Put that in my printer and let it print. And then I'll be right back. Click send to printer. I'm going to select the printer that I'm going to use. I'm not going to add bleed. And then I'm gonna print, I mean, click print. Then as you see, it's starting to print. So basically right now the machine is just reading it. 
But yep, see. Yep, it's not doing it right. So I'm gonna have to cancel it. I don't know if you guys can see but all these little dots is trying to go in and do that and that's not what we want so just give me one So as you guys can see, it cuts around the black. It just cuts the circle around. So I'm gonna bring you over here um, where I have to clean off the um, the frame with glass. So just give me one more. So I'm gonna come over here and just spray alcohol. And then just clean it. And this size is the 8x10 that she ordered. I'm gonna squeeze that. And let me bring you over here a little bit more. So we're gonna take this off. I'm gonna set my mat down. And then with the stickers, because it's a it's printable sticker, you basically can just take it off. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So this is the, the sticker. So I'm gonna actually just bring this over here to kind of help me. Help me out. And I'm sorry you guys, as far as with the recording, I'm still kind of getting used to recording so let's kind of bring it up a little bit more so for this I'm actually gonna wait before I put this on and the only reason why I would do that is because I want to do her name and everything first I just thought about that and this is trial and error um, so I'm going to go ahead and do her name and everything first and then I'll be back. I'm going in now on the Cricut Design Space and I'm basically just putting in her name and I'm just making sure I spelled everything correctly. You can use whatever font that you want to use but when I'm doing this I'm going to go in with the pink vinyl, permanent vinyl that she wants. So then whenever you figure out what um, font it is that you want to use, you want to make sure that you measure, measure, um, so let's come over here. So I'm going to have to get my measuring and you want to measure from across from here because you don't want it to go all the way out you want to make sure you position it right on the cricket machine so let me go ahead Once and you got that. your size and you did everything then you're going to go ahead and get the vinyl again this is permanent vinyl i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put this on a mat and i have already measured everything so this is almost done so i can just put the whole thing on here Let me just move you guys over a little bit. Bring my machine out. All right. And then it's ready. And then it's gonna go ahead and just create her um, her business name that she wants. Once this is done, then I will be right back. All right, so now it's done. As you can see the name on here. Now it's time to weave. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And then I'm gonna just cut. Just cut it and save the rest of the vinyl because you're gonna need something else. Now we're gonna get our weeding tool and we're gonna go ahead and just weed it. Let me kind of have you guys zoom in a little bit more. just um you know doing having the cricket machine cut out all the words and stuff that i'm going to use um and then i kind of lay it out before i do it to see if i want to add something else to it um for right now i like to just print everything out right away so then i can just go ahead and just apply everything on here so that's what i'm doing right now she wanted her name of her business she wants scan to pay <clears throat> and then both of her qr codes that's right here and then the background of the QR code is gonna be pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna... So you wanna make sure you got, I would say the best thing to do is cut everything out so you can kind of see how everything will look and if it will fit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start doing it. So I hope you guys can see me.
Okay. You gotta like it like this. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Cash App. Um, I'm I probably just go ahead and put PayPal. You know, it's right there. I don't know. I'm gonna see. But this is how you make it. So this is it, you guys. Thank you for watching this video. This is how you make the QR scanner code. Again, you can use this for a pop-up shop. If you have a store business, um, you can basically use it for anything. It's definitely recommended for anybody that has their own business. If you have any questions, feel free to drop the questions in the comments. And again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.